Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can watch CBeebies, um, the BBC's uh, TV channel for preschoolers. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to watch it outside the UK. So if you are in the UK, you don't need to worry about half this. If you're not, please stay with us. Okay, to access um, CBeebies you go through the BBC iPlayer channel. They have got a dedicated um, site, but uh, you'll find all the programs on here. This is BBC iPlayer, probably the best website on the web, in my opinion. It's absolutely, it's it's just basically a uh, online extension of the, the normal BBC. You have got, uh, I think, 11 or 12 live channels, which broadcast 24 hours a day, apart from a couple, CBBS is one. Uh, and it's got an archive stuffed with um, thousands of programs. Generally, a program is shown on BBC iPlayer and then is archived for 12 months. So, for instance, Top Gear will be on there for 12 months and all these programs. Uh, they do uh, recycle them and switch them around. Sometimes you'll find, for instance, this Detectorists. It's a few years old now. It's, it's very well worth watching. <coughs> but... Um, it's more than 12 months old. I don't know how long you can watch it for. It's got another nine months on there as well. Uh, but we're looking at CBeebies. So if we click over to CBeebies here, we can see the channel here and all the... There's, there's loads on here. Behind each of these little tabs, there's hundreds more. So um, all the TV channels you want. And of course, you can watch it live just by here. Uh, and um, whatever is being broadcast on CBeebies at the time. So just let's click on OK, and we'll show you the point of this video, really, is that um, it's not available from all locations. So if you're outside the UK, you can't watch it. <clears throat> right, um, the reason is BBC uh, looks at your IP address and determines your location there. But sorry, the reason is um, broadcasting rights and... Um, copyrights for some of these shows uh, they don't have international clearance so they restrict it to the domestic market and they make an awful lot of money out on cbb's dvds and stuff like that but i'm going to show you how you can fix this so basically we're blocked from all access there so let me just close these things and i'll show you how you can use something called a vpn which sounds terribly complicated and geeky to change your ip address this is the one i use it's nordvpn uh, there's a link to the their discount page in the descriptions if you want to check it out yourself. Uh, other VPNs work as well. The crucial fact is that it must have a um, UK uh, IP address and it can't be blocked by the BBC. So <coughs> some of the very cheap um, VPNs haven't got enough IP addresses and they all get blocked because they put too many people on them. NordVPN occasionally has one or two IP addresses blocked, but they have about eight, 900, I think, um, UK ones. So there's plenty to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get access to CBeebies. So you can either click on United Kingdom there or Quick Connect, but I suggest searching through. If you type United Kingdom in the search bar, you'll get a list of all the servers. As I say, um, there's, there's several hundred of... Um, in NordVPN. Um, I do this because they're less likely to get blocked. Basically, you're picking your own individual servers. If you just click the little heart, they'll appear in your favorites there, and you can click on them whenever you want. So I'll pick one of the, the one I generally use two or three servers, and I can't remember the last time they got blocked. They always seem to work. Whereas if you press Quick Connect, occasionally you will get blocked. Okay, so NordVPN is connected to the VPN server. So I've now got an encrypted connection between me and the VPN server. So I'm going to show you what's changed now because of this. We'll go back to the BBC site and go to BBC iPlayer. Remember, when we go to the BBC iPlayer now, the BBC will see our um, VPN IP address, not our real one. So let's go to CBeebies. There we go to CBeebies. And let's just watch live again. You can remember last time we got a message saying it was not available. And there we are. We have the program, whatever that is. Uh, just click that so you get into trouble if you stream the BBC stuff online on YouTube. And that's basically it. 
um, using a UK IP address, I can watch any of the CBBBs or, in fact, any of um, BBC iPlayer. I use it all the time um, because, to be honest, most of my TV watching viewing is from the BBC. But also, if you're interested in other UK TV sites, ITV Hub is really good. Channel 4 and Channel 5 are stuffed full of films, documentaries, dramas, comedies, all you'll need, really. They're all free of charge. Only the BBC doesn't have adverts, the other uh, commercial companies. Okay, so that's um, basically me using NordVPN to get uh, CBBS, which is, as any parent know, is a very important channel. Okay, thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.